Hi guys, this is Mike from theprogramming.org. In the last tutorial I showed you how to create a person class and this is a blueprint that defines all common attributes that would create each object. So in this tutorial I created a driver class with a main method and we can create objects from the class person. So let's do that now. We can say person uh, Mike equals new person and then we got because we created a constructor right here that says person and it takes in a string name and an ID of type n we need to do that so let's put in Mike as a string right there and then comma and then we'll put in an ID number so we'll put in a one and what this means is you're instantiating the mic object and when you use the new operator that's, in, that's giving uh, making space and memory to hold the information for this object and you can also come up here say person give it a little space Person and let's create another person. We'll say John, and it doesn't need to be initialized. And you can come down here, and all you have to do is say John equals new person, and we'll say John two. And it's probably giving me an error because this needs to be static. Let's see. Yes. So let's create a static person, John. All right. So now we have two instances of the person class. And I just showed you two ways how to instantiate. You can declare the type in the, and then the name that references it to the object you created. Or you can uh, have the, the type and the name up here and then recall it down here and instantiate it. So either way is fine, whatever you want to do. And let's say we want to print out some of the characteristics and see what's the difference. So let's print out Mike and let's print out John. And by doing this, this is equivalent to saying Mike dot two string the two string method that we created. So this right here is not necessary when you want to print out uh, the information you have defined down here. So well, what this is called is dot notation where you have the object name dot and then the method. So to string you do not have to have the uh, dot to string but for any other method that's available you would have to say dot get name or dot set name and then put in the parameter of the name you would like to change it to so well, I'll print this out first with the to string and as you can see we got ID 1 and then Mike and then ID 2 and John and if we get rid of this dot to string should print the same exact thing out and it does and then there's other methods uh, we can do we can say system dot dot print line um, let's say my dot get ID should print a one at the bottom of the screen and let's say that we have a, a long list of objects we created from different classes and you're getting confused who knows why you need to call this but let's just say we want to find out what class John belongs to so one way we can do this is say sys out and we can say John dot get class and what this is going to do is return the class name to what it belongs so it belongs from the person class so that's a tutorial, a quick overview of what an object is versus what a class is. So please continue to watch the next few tutorials, which I'll get a little bit more in depth and explain to you um, 
things such as the constructor, uh, getters and setters, and other methods and two strings. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe.